Good morning, everyone. Happy Vlogmas Day 5. Where are we headed, guys? Um, Pops's. Pops's house. And I am headed to City of Hope with Kyle. Ellis is supposed to go to school today, but he said he's still not feeling well, so Pops said he's okay I'll with... I'll probably feel better tomorrow. Probably. Pops said he's comfortable with Ellis coming over. So we have masks for the kids, and Pops will take care of them. I hope you get time to rest and relax, buddy. Okay. Build up some energy for tomorrow. Bye, Ellis. Oh, thanks, buddy. Bye, Winnie. You want to hold it? There is so much traffic on the freeway. Let's hope it won't take too long to get to City of Hope. And we will have a smooth drive. The traffic has cleared up. Looking good. We're here! Yay! Yay! Oh, I'm going to the hospital regarding cancer. I finished my pain management appointment at City of Hope and it went wonderfully I don't know if you can tell but I'm very happy I'm a little emotional it kind of um, triggered some emotions because we had to talk about all the things and I don't know if it's a requirement at City of Hope but I think it's a requirement to be a nice person if you want to work there it's definitely in their uh their motto. You think so? Because Because I, I am telling you, if you want nice doctors yep. and nurses and everyone, go to City of Hope. They yeah. are so incredible. Truly nice. This doctor I worked with in the past when I had my immunotherapy reaction, and he was wonderful then, but he was so nice. I was so terrified for this appointment, and he made me feel completely heard. He listened to everything I said, and I was blabbing. I had three pages of notes. <laughs> And he was just so wonderful. He made me feel less scared of pain medications. Um, I have, you know, my three pages of notes. And every time I write a page of notes and questions and whatnot for the doctor, I never can sit and read it. I don't know if it's just my oh, brain. No, it's organic because like, he's asking me questions. Like, he'll ask me questions, yeah. yeah. So I can't sit and read my bullet points. No. So I don't even really look at it. I when just kind of scan it to see if I forgot anything. You did anything. a good job at... Picking, scanning it and picking some... Well, things. and there was a couple things that you never got to, and then at the end, you were like, well, let me get my last little bullet points out, and you did, and you covered everything. <laughs> but <laughs> you know? my, my pages of notes, I don't know if they help me much, because I just chat. Oh, I have a flower. We were leaving City of Hope, and Kyle picked this flower and gave it to me, <laughs> and I felt so special. And a... And a gentleman in his car looked at me and went <laughs> he gave him a thumbs up <laughs> I said, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was so crowded at city of hope today <clears throat> i got out quickly but oh you know why no so they shove everyone's appointments oh because of the holidays because of the holidays i remember <sighs> that last year they like shove it was so packed i'm so glad i just had that quick appointment yeah because it was so packed there the busiest i've ever seen it i think yep. oh, um Oh, it was so wonderful. It was great. I'm so happy. What a success. It's hard day. explaining my pain because 
it's complicated. It's not just a simple answer. So like the nurse checking me in said, any pain today? I usually just say no, even though I have chronic pain and I've had it for three years, I usually just say no. But I could read your mind and tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. Oh, well, I'm at the pain doctor's appointment, so <laughs> yeah. I can't just say no. I can't say no, I have to tell her. <laughs> and I was thinking, girl, just say no. <laughs> they don't care. Get to the so doctor. So I said, yes, I have pain. <laughs> so. And she says, okay, from a scale of one to 10, what is it? It doesn't work that way, at least not with my pains. No. Sometimes it's a six, sometimes it's a two, sometimes it's an eight, you know? like. So I was just like, oh, I don't know. And then I gave her a number and then where is it at okay well there's some here there's a lot over here there's some here like i can't i can't yeah, and so i just said my left side of my torso yeah that's good um which is pretty accurate mm -hmm. yeah. how, how much do they want to know what do i say so he you just say your your fears is what you told him you explained everything to him i told him my fears I said that I'm afraid that if I'm needing pain management help, that it means I'm going downhill. This is it. And he said, it does not mean that. And I might not need medication next time we meet. Or I might need more when next time we meet. It doesn't mean anything about my prognosis. Your fear of being on opioids with Winnie and taking care of Winnie. Yes. And he said those are completely valid. And then... Um, Your fear of constant scans and the pain that you're going to be going through yeah so i just ever since my first biopsy i have had pain when i lay flat i can't sleep flat i have the fancy bed that has an incline my sister got it for me thank you sis and <clears throat> i can't lay flat since i've had the pul uh, pleural effusion situation i now have a new pain in the front when i lay flat that is like horrible and i have to lay down flat for my ct scans my brain mri um my echoes my or no my ekgs like a whole bunch of stuff so i said these tests are already anxiety inducing and now i'm stressing about this pain and the longer i lay the worse it gets oh. help me so he help said me. i will give you Dilaudid, which I've had for the scans, take it before the scans, and if I like wake up in the night in excruciating pain because I've that. had that, right. or if like at the gala I was in really bad pain you would take to where I couldn't even enjoy it, I right. would have probably taken one then. So it's as needed, and then the other medication he. So I've been taking ibuprofen at night before bed for every night for about a week because I wake up in pain in the night and I still wake up in pain with the ibuprofen, but it helps more than if I didn't take it. So he said it's in the same family as ibuprofen. I don't remember what it's called, but it just lasts 12 hours versus right. ibuprofen is six hours. And it's easier on your insides and it's easier on my insides so he said i can take it around the clock if i want or i can take it just before bed if i want yep. or just when i'm feeling pain if i want and honestly this appointment went better than i could have hoped yeah my fear like i was like what were you so afraid of last year i was on fentanyl when i had my immunotherapy reaction and i didn't like it it made me feel not in, like in a fog not yeah. myself I did not like how I felt on it. And they said, you have to wean off this certain way because it could be fatal if you do it incorrectly, which we all hear the fentanyl stories. So mm -hmm. I believed it and I was scared. With these medications, he's like, you can take it as needed. I feel like I have freedom and I feel like I have control and I have a choice. And I think your fear is not having control. Not My having fear is choice. not having any control or yeah. choice. You know, I'm afraid of substances. I prefer to just be me as is. Mm -hmm. I don't drink alcohol just for personal choices. And pain medication, I feel like, is kind of in that world. And so I like that I have some freedom in it and some, I get, I get to choose when I take it. And it's okay if I 
don't want to take it. Um, it's not fatal. No, yeah, no. <laughs> so I'm excited and hopeful. We'll get my medications today. Yep. I will see him again in a few weeks. Did I say he ordered an MRI of my spine? He did not. He ordered an MRI of my spine. He wants to see if there's any issues in my spine causing the pain. He said that could radiate uh -huh. to some of the he spots. He said we could think it's ribs. we could think it's this, but it's actually from my spine. Yeah. So he just wants to find out if there's a root problem that he can help with. Try to target. Or <clears throat> if it's just what I think it is. Yeah. And he's very thorough, very nice, very kind. You have control. He wanted to make sure he kept you in control. And he said, check with me in two, three weeks. The schedule's already in there, the mm -hmm. appointment. If it wasn't strong enough, let me know. If you didn't feel like yourself, let me know. He said, we can talk about everything. If you want something different, stronger, I'm nothing. I'm so happy. It was, it was better great. than I could have hoped. I've avoided this appointment for, honestly, since I've had cancer, I've avoided this appointment. Yeah. Because I've been in pain this whole time. And I'm so glad I finally did it. You owned it. You I'm so great. proud of myself. And you look so beautiful doing it. <laughs> you are sweet. And look what I got for the kids. A, bo a oh. bouquet of leaves. How pretty are these leaves? She was picking leaves in the middle of the, <laughs> of the little grassy area. People, people probably thought I was weird. <clears throat> oh, has anyone had um, an MRI of the spine? If you have, please let me know how it is. Mrs. Horton. What it entails. Oh, she has had a full spine MRI. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'll have to ask her about it. I don't know if you want to. Um, let me know, and because I don't know what that entails. If it's longer than a brain MRI. I would say it's either equidistant. No, e e the, the same, same, or a little shorter. I think brain is usually. Well, your spine is so long. The spine and the spine has a lot of things going on in it. I yeah. don't know. We'll see. I'll have to ask Maybe, her. Hopefully, some. Anyways, I got pretty bouquet of leaves for the kids. And since we got out of the appointment quickly, we are going to run into Michael's craft store to hopefully get some Christmas. To stuff. hopefully get some Christmas stuff to surprise the kids with, because they want to decorate their their bedrooms. And so, I was coming up with some ideas. On what they can do when he's really into decorating oh. like she will empty her her toy bins and she will decorate Place her room toys. so i'll have her room fully clean and organized and she goes mommy 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 it's not done and she'll dump her toys and, go. and jewelry and whatever she'll hang bracelets from all the corners of her yep. of her furniture she'll put toys in all these spots that they don't belong and That's she'll crazy. say now it's done so she likes to decorate, so. <laughs> See how this goes. Let's go get them some Christmas decorations. And there's nothing like an iced coffee. Oh. <laughs> spilled it on my notebook. <laughs> Wipe it off. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> All right, let's go. This Michael's craft store did not have the cheap Christmas garland that I was looking for. They only had like expensive, fancy you know, versions. Right? Party City. Dollar Tree. Mm. And Party City. Mm. So instead we got the kids some presents since they're not with us and we needed to start Christmas shopping. And um, my mom always got me these cute arts and crafts kits for Christmas and birthdays growing up. And so I wanted to get some arts and crafts kits for the kids for Christmas. Kyle says that it's not his cup of tea. No. He's not a big arts and crafts guy. Even though when you do art, it's so beautiful. He's so talented. But I broke out of my shell. He doesn't enjoy it. I saw something that I think else would like. Yeah, he picked out a craft thing on his own. That he and I could do together. Yes, you guys might need my help. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Kyle ran to the store with Winnie to get some batteries for some of the Christmas decorations and he has yard work on his to-do list for today and the yard work used to be one of our favorite pastimes to do together but i can't do as much with all of this cancer treatment and i'm feeling physically able to do some stuff right now so i'm gonna go out and start sweeping the front yard and i think he'll be really 
happy when he gets home. This is my way to flirt with him. So let's let's see if he's excited. I think he'll be excited that A, I'm sweeping up his work that he needs to do, and B, that I'm able to do it. So let's see if he's excited. Not gonna lie, that little sweeping job already has me short of breath. <laughs> Lung cancer. Wow. What you doing, girl? What are you doing? <laughs> sweeping. Wow. Big time. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Gold? Yeah. <laughs> I like your bleach stains. <laughs> 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 you grab your backpacks, sugar bean. Well, thank you. Look at you with the little broom, huh? <laughs> wow, look at that big old pile. Now the kids are helping sweep. Wow, look at that. These are Kyle's old ghost skeletons, and he's going to try to make little Christmas trees out of them. That's right. We'll see how it turns out. We'll, uh, we'll film that. Yeah. Oh, and. And he got these new uh, uh, Christmas decorations, Mickey and Minnie. Great job, guys. Yes! They're throwing away the old rotten fruit Daddy, from the ground. I, I do it and then we're going to pick the ripe fruit every, from the ground. I yeah? Do it every time and it gets in the, and it gets in the basketball hoop. You make it in the basketball hoop every time? Yeah! Great job. That's called skill. Thank you for helping. And now you guys get some, this is your payment for your hard work, huh? Was it worth it? Yummy. Yummy? Was it worth it? Yeah. Yeah. Good job, guys. Thanks for helping. So Jen thinks I'm crazy for buying more Christmas decor, but I love decorations. Uh, these were on clearance, so it's okay, right? This is uh, Minnie and Mickey, and they're like those classic old school little light up stand up guys for in front of our house. Um, these are the homes of their little personal Christmas trees that they're gonna have. I'm gonna make those probably tomorrow or the next day. So there's that. And then I wanted to take you guys on a little tour. I did a lot of gardening, pulled a lot of weeds, and then planted my poins, poinsettia, poinsettias. I don't know how to say them. What do you guys think? Is it poinsettia or poinsettia? I don't ever know. But I planted one there, one there, and one there. That's our little flag that lights up. Let's see if it's working. It's probably not. Oh my gosh, yes it is. Look at that. Oh, where'd it go? So that's our little flag that we got last year that lights up. Yeah. Pretty cool. So then we have our plants there. I also decided to do them over here in our boulevard. Put little spotlights on them so you can see them. And the red really shines. They are doing well so far. But I told Jenny I just wanted to show them off. So I'm just showing them off. We have all this empty space here where we do like seasonal flowers. And I did um, poinsettias, poinsettias this year. So, more to come. Well, 
my Christmas tree art <laughs> decoration was a fail. It keeps falling. I used command hooks and I love command hooks. I use them for so much stuff all the time and they're not sticking on the wall. Like her other wall over here is hanging a toy with a command hook and it's been there for months. This isn't staying, and I don't know why. Maybe it's the specific command hooks I used. I don't know. So that might be a flop. I didn't even get ornaments for it because I wanted little packs of, like, the colors they chose. And the, like, mini ornaments. And the stores didn't have them. Like, we went to... Was it two stores or three stores? Three stores. And they didn't have them. So... I'm probably going to order them on Amazon. I added them to my cart already. <laughs> but it's like I, I want to avoid Amazon and go into the store and get them. But then they're not available. So Amazon it is. Ellis's is not falling. But Winnie's is. And I keep putting it back and I don't know what's going on. So maybe she'll just hang it around her room somewhere else. Um, I'm sad. <laughs> I was using an old memory card today on the camera and I didn't realize I was using an old uh, memory card. It just happened to be in the camera from doing the pictures. It got switched around. Anyways, it has old footage of us on the camera just filming random parts of our day. I think it was right before I was diagnosed during the pandemic, um, so 2020, and it's really sad to see normal me and this is something I struggle with here and there. I miss being me. I'm not me anymore and I know I'm still me. <laughs> What is this conversation? I know I'm still me, but I'm not me. Like I was healthy and I was fit and I was so physically active with my kids running around, crawling, you know, playing, jumping, all the silly stuff and physical stuff. And I can't do any of that now. Maybe I'll get better. Right now I can't though. And it's been like this for a while. And it just really bums me out. Like, why did I take such good care of myself? I know it's good to still take care of yourself. And it's important, but like... I tried so hard to be healthy. I tried so hard to fill us with healthy foods. And not drink, not smoke. Be active, exercise. I tried so hard to be physically and mentally healthy and then here I am with cancer at 35. I don't understand it and I know it never makes sense. No one ever understands it and it's just not fair and bad luck. It's just such a bummer. I just miss being me and I don't think I'll ever be the old me again and that's okay. Like, people change and grow and all that stuff. But I don't feel like I'm changing and growing. I'm going the opposite direction. And I just feel like it's not fair. And I know life's not fair. It's just... I'm feeling sorry for myself and... Pouting and stomping my foot. Saying it's not fair. Because I'm just sad. Seeing that old footage, I don't know what about it, it just kind of hit me in the face. <sighs> Seeing the old me, I just miss being her. I miss being who I am. No, I'm just this sick person. I'm always sick. I can't do what I used to physically. I'm still doing pretty well at staying positive mentally and being my happy self, so that's good. I'm glad I'm able to do that. 
I just miss, I just miss being me. I miss it so much. I wish my kids could have that mom back. I tried so hard to be a good mom for them and I know I am a good mom for them still. Like I truly know I am. I take pride in that. I just, I tried so hard to prevent something like this from happening. I really thought that eating healthy and exercising and just living a healthy lifestyle would prevent me from getting cancer. I really thought it would. It's just such a bummer that it didn't. But, you know, my sister has told me that it probably helped me, even though I have cancer, it probably helped me to be as healthy as I was going into cancer treatment and going into this battle with cancer. She said if I wasn't as healthy, it might have been harder from the beginning. And since I was so healthy, she thinks that was um, an advantage that I had. And I agree, I do, I do think that. It was just a bummer to see old me, I miss me. <laughs> Here are a few clips of the old footage that I happened upon, if you're interested in seeing it. Winnie, what are you doing? You like those? Okay. Else, what are you doing? I'm making a costume. <laughs> We hippos love our belly bees, they're round and cute and funny, and there's a place we take them to, and summer days are sunny, beep boop. Look at all the hippos with their belly button each, do you wonder where we're at, it's belly button beach. Are you okay? You okay, Marshall? Okay, go ahead and talk to the camera. Hi, I'm Elise. And this is Winnie, and I'm Mommy. <laughs> and we're having fun! Woo! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this is a great time, woohoo! All right, Ellis is showing us his micro machines. Ooh. Look at Winnie. Look at Winnie. <laughs> What are you doing? Are you silly? <laughs> <laughs> we got beauty right there. Beauty queen. Live and in the flesh. Look at that. Pure beauty. Oh my goodness. Spilled her water. See, we're going to look back on this and say, oh man, remember that house? We may move one day. What's so, up? <laughs> come on this way. We're gonna take you to see our kids. Kita! Hi, Kita! She, we said she can be in the video. That's right. We got everyone in here as a family. I'm thinking I'm going to watch a Christmas movie with Kyle after the kids go to bed to cheer me up. And. I'm going to read them some Christmas stories before bed and cuddle them extra tight. I love them so much. Even though my pain appointment went really well, it was a little triggering having the conversations about pain and quality of life. Um... I said, you know, 
my doctor was asking why I'm afraid of pain medications and I was saying like I'm afraid I will be addicted to them or dependent on them and I said if I only have two years left then who cares if I'm addicted to them or dependent on them but if I have 18 more years or more then I want to not be dependent on them and be careful with how I handle this but you know talking about potential timelines just makes me sad and freaks me out but I'm still really happy with the pain management plan I'm happy that I don't have to take opioids every day I didn't even know about opioids really like I've heard people talk about it but I I'm not I don't I don't know a lot of information about pain medication so I was learning in today's appointment about all of the things regarding pain meds <laughs> and I'm glad that the main one I will be taking is not addictive and doesn't have crazy side effects so I'm really happy about that sorry for crying and ranting <laughs> this is how life with cancer is I could be having a really good day and then it just hits me the reality of where I'm at it's just hard thank you guys for watching I'm sorry I'm so emotional I can't stop crying I'll probably keep crying after I'm done filming but thank you for watching I really 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 appreciate you guys I hope you enjoyed Vlogmas Day 5 and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!